Thank you guys for tuning in. We have a Town Hall 10 3 star attack using the Go Ho attack. Uh, not Go Ho, what am I talking? Go Va attack. Go Va attack with miners in the clan castle. Man, can't even speak right. What's going on, Halo hey, Heads? Anyways, we're going to break it down for you. Let's look at this base. Let's see what to do about it and how to take it down. If you notice, where do you come in on bases like this? Obviously, the goal is to get the Inferno Towers quickly as possible. This is not a max defensive base, but very similar to my hero levels at that. Uh, so you want to steer clear from uh, those expos when you're doing the queen walk. Where are the expos located? Well, they're not located to the west. Look, no expos will be able to reach my queen if I come from the west, or neither will the air defenses be able to reach the healers, which is very critical uh, when you're trying to figure out where to queen walk. What are the air defenses up to and the uh, expos? Those are the two things that make a queen walk either work or don't work. So already I know I'm gonna come in from the west. And why do I want to funnel her down to the south? Well, there are no air defenses down there to take out my healers. If she had path north, then see that air defense right next to the Inferno Tower? It would have locked on to my healers, and then I would have been had a huge fail. Not good at all. So this means I'm going to have to funnel. So I'm going to bring in a wizard tower, I mean a wizard by that uh, army camp, and then she's going to path down to the south, as you can tell. And then I'm going to drop the golem uh, kind of at that archer tower right there, and hopefully be able to take out uh, kind of, you know, obviously the funnel there, so the Valkyries will path right to the core and right onto that king in that first infernal compartment where the town hall is. That's where my main bulk of the account attack wants to go. Of course, I am not going to be using a jump spell. Now, the problem with not using a jump spell in the first compartment, what can happen is those Valkyries could shift off to the other compartments and not go towards where that Inferno Tower is, which would have been a huge no and bad move at that. So here comes the Queen. Look, the Wizard Tower goes right down immediately. What is that Wizard Tower doing? Uh, and I drop archers just to make sure that army camp goes down. If the army camp was not hit going down, that means the queen would have pathed north. Uh, she would have locked onto the army camp and then still path north. Now, I, even at this point, I was like, no, she might even still go north because what's going to happen? She's going to take down the gold sword, then the cannon. And at, at this moment, I thought, great, she might path north. Look at that. So close. You know, sometimes, but luckily she went to the south, locked onto the cannon, and I knew, yes, I've got this in the bag. What? A, what look at that. There comes the um, lure of the clan castle, using that hog to lure the clan castle, going to take out the uh, dragon. Definitely want to deal with that clan castle before those Valkyries get into the core, uh, and that way uh, they won't be hurt as much. So here comes the golem. The golem does get distracted just a little bit by that Tesla there. Unfortunate. The wizards do go down, so of course the funnel is being created. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Now, I, of course, the Valkyries are going to go to this um, king first and then the archer tower. The, the, since there's no jump, look at this. They go all the way to the cannon. And at this moment, I'm going to pause it. I thought the raid was doomed. Look at those Valkyries going to the outside. They would have gone there, but look at those wizards. Those wizards saved the day. If those wizards weren't there, the Valkyries would have gone around the entire base and it would have been a fail. That's the danger of not bringing two jumps. You know, those Valkyries can spread out and that's what almost happened. I got really fortunate there. But because they went back into the core, I was able to save, um, use one jump, um, just bring one jump spell and bring that free spell to protect my Valkyries against that Inferno Tower, which really made a difference because they didn't take down the Inferno Tower till right now. So all that time, maybe five, six seconds would have been dealt damage to my um, to my Valkyries. Of course, if you notice early in the attack, I dropped my uh, miners in the clan castle along with the main force. That way they would help with that Inferno Tower. And that was really key for that Inferno Tower to go down with the help not only of the Valkyries, but also the miners too. Of course, I would. I almost thought I was not going to three star. Look at this attack. The queen, there's only one healer on the queen. I was like, no, she's going to go down and I'm going to fail. I was like, Time's gonna run out or something. I'm not gonna be able to get it. I had the troops. And I was a little afraid. You know, time could you know mess up. But the miners are very quick and very fast to deal with the rest of the troops. 
that's how you take down this base, my friends. A uh, little something special for you. So kind of a breakdown. I love miners in the clan castle. Definitely use that these days, guys. Uh, it's really powerful stuff to use the miners. Hey, a live attack. Let's see what's going on. Live attack. Um, it looks like it was a Vaho. A Vaho attack. Go Vaho attack. And is it going to succeed? Attacker is Jay Alark, our, from uh, one of our guys. He's bringing in the hogs right now. The question is, will the double giant bomb kill those hogs? Right there. Is it going to happen? Let's find out. Oh, he didn't plan on it. Uh, yep, you got to anticipate the double giant bombs. Even place them down just in case they're there. And I think he they would have survived. But the queen is down. Yeah, that's not going to be a win. That is going to be a fail. Well, I mean, a two star is nice. Um, but it was a, you know, two star is good. Uh, of course, you want that three star, of course. That's that's the main purpose. And with the Valkyries being this strong and some of the, the hogs upgraded as well. Uh, but I don't think he's going to get this one. He does have Valkyries left, but it looks like he's going to run out of time. Uh, I you know the the king is still alive with a healer on it. There's not a you know defensive wise there's not troops there, but I think there's not enough time left. 36 seconds. Does he get it done? Let's see what happens. Maybe I was mistaken about if he's gonna fail this attack, but time allotting. Let's see. He does have wizards left, so that's critical to get that last kind of cannon. But I'm a little afraid of that. Look at that one last unit there. That king, uh, little um, king tower. Uh, wherever the whatever the, the king landing or whatever that is called. I don't think it's gonna fall quick enough. And yep, the the oh no! Look at that! Look at that, my friends! Ah, oh, he would have had the three star. So close. Anyways, that was that's what happens sometimes. Solid attack though. Next time, better luck. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo out.